Hello everyone, my name is Napoleon Malpica and on behalf of The Night Games, I just wanted to say if you are here, thank you! Thank you very much for being part of this project. If you're not a Packard yet, I just wanted to say, please listen to what I have to say right now and then reconsider. Because this project is going to be huge. I mean, I know, it's an indie project, you might be saying, oh, this is a Mega Man ripoff or something, but I know, <laughs> we love Mega Man. That's why I'm putting everyone, everything in here because I wanted that you see that we also love to play games, we also love to, to, to learn from bigger companies and, and try to, to put our ideas and our concepts, our inspiration on it. And this is why we, the, the protagonist kind of looks like a Mega Man. But it's not the case, because this, this game has a lot of differences on mechanics, on gameplay, on how to to pass through the game and everything. So, uh, I'm making this video because I, I'm going to be updating it and from time to time and I will try to to talk uh, like with no script behind because I wanted that you see uh, the, uh, like a human face of the project and I wanted that you can listen to what I'm thinking at the moment on real time well not real time because this is not live <laughs> this is not a stream or something but uh, you see I'm, I have no idea of what I had to say at the moment I mean with no script I know what I had to say because I'm, I'm here right now to show you to talk about how excited we are with the project the Game of Boy Zero X is the culmination, or at least the climax of the ploit. We started developing Boyd almost six years ago when we published it. And at that moment we didn't have the equipment and the experience in order to make a game what, uh, in the way that we really wanted to do it that time. So at that moment the first game Boyd was kind of run and gun game with platforming but we really wanted to integrate more features and after the time passes and we work with the Breckton projects and other games that we already published uh, we learned it and we making some meetings and and then we decided to to take a look back on what we've been doing and and then we decided to continue to what we really wanted to do from start and that's why the Game Boy Zero X is right now here on Kickstarter and we're really adding many many new features Metroidvania plus platforming plus uh, evolving because our protagonist is going to evolve itself every time he get a new ability and change its forms, its patterns what he do, the way he plays, and it affects also the, the scenario because since he's evolving and having more features and more upgrades and everything, you can track back your, your, your game and try to rediscover new areas and something. But you know, this game has a time travel feature and each of the bosses has his it's unique. Um, it's unique uh, timeline scenario, and depending on how you play, how you defeat them, uh, it will affect the timeline. So, like Mega Man, when you defeat a boss and you earn a, a new ability, and that ability is the weakness of a new enemy, we're introducing the time loop thing. So, if you defeat a boss, you you need to think. What do you really want it to do? Defeat a boss, get the weapon and go to the next area? Or try to defeat a boss, get the weapon, not affecting the timeline and rescue your beloved. So this concept is like a loop. And this is what really we really wanted to do with this Game of Boy Zero X. <sighs> we're really excited. <laughs> I tried to think on all the features that I, we're going to do and Wow, it is it's a lot, it's a lot, and we're really happy on how it's evolving. And we really want to meet the stretch goals because 
this will make the game even bigger. Sorry, I have to cut. <laughs> I got a message. I really had to cut it at this point. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, with the uh, Game Boy, C Rex, uh, Omega already evolved, and his inner skill master is the ability to evolve by taking everyone's ability. So every time he has a new weapon, he's evolving himself and changing his form in order to use this new weapon. So it's kind of the copy element from Mega Man, but it's not uh, like a copy in an armor. It's like he's evolving, he's growing up as a character. And another thing that is new uh, with this project is that uh, depending on the order that you defeat the bosses uh, because you are doing time traveling thing uh, you will get a different ending with the game so you you will need to think really what do you have to or what you really wanted to do to I mean having all the weapons in this order because they have some weaknesses or trying to do it the best way possible in order to do not affect the timeline and rescue your beloved Alpha. So, uh, it's a tricky thing, <laughs> but we've been thinking on a way to make it possible since a lot of time, and we're finally able to do it because uh, the team really grows since all the development these years, and we're really happy with the result. Now, uh, I know we, we already reached our, our main goal, but we wanted to reach all the stretch goals possible because we want to add extra content and this is why this is for for the extra content for the physical editions and made the game even better so we we wanted to add new features at, at the moment uh, we are uh, getting like a boss rush mode to fight all the bosses and more features, but I cannot say that right now because we're working on the stretch goals. I will be updating this video uh, every time we reach a new stretch goal so you can see uh, how we feel about it and how we, we really wanted to talk about these new features in the game. So at the moment I just want to say thank you and again, thank you for your time. I know I've been talking too much, <laughs> but some of you might be might like it. I hope you like what I, what I had to say today. And if you're not already a backer, please reconsider. At least share the campaign. That's a huge help for us because there's people that might not know about this uh, campaign and might be interested. So anyway, uh, see you in the next update. And I hope you really enjoy what you are. Uh, seeing here with the Game Boy Zero X, we're really happy. We're really, really happy to with what we are doing here and what we really plan to do. So, see you again next next update. Bye bye for now.